everyone thanks for tuning in welcome to gadgets 360 and we are live again from the google pixel 3 launch event in new york city and we have now the pixel 3 xl and this is the not pink color which is very very pale and uh, could be uh, you know could appeal to a wide variety of people that's the pixel 3 xl as you can see it has a 6.3 inch screen compared to 5.5 inches for the Pixel 3. There's a look at the bottom with the USB Type-C port and the SIM slot. There's the sides, the top. And you can see the power button on the side has a pop of color again, just like the Pixel 2's. It's an always-on AMOLED. Uh, sorry, it's an always-on display. Um, this has a QHD Plus resolution of 2960 by 1440, and it's a flexible OLED uh, with a 523 ppi density. That is Corning Gorilla Glass in the front, and HDR is supported. So on the back of the phone, this is uh, it looks a lot like the Pixel 2, but this is actually a single piece of glass with two different textures. That's a matte texture, which does not pick up fingerprints, according to Google. And you can see that here in the not pink color. So... This is uh, Android 9, and what we have going on uh, is also a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, 4GB of RAM, and your choice of 64 or 128GB of storage. And yes, there is of course a notch on the top, which is pretty deep by today's standards, pretty wide and deep. There's two cameras over there, that's two 8 megapixel front-facing cameras, and one single 12.2 megapixel rear camera. Where we have the phone. A little difficult to use with one hand, as you can see. to some more specifications. The Pixel 3 XL has a 3430 milliamp hour battery compared to 2915 for the Pixel 3. There's a Snapdragon 845 processor, 4 GB of RAM, 64 or 128 GB of uh, memory, 12.2 megapixel uh, camera on the rear, but a lot of the focus is on AI software features rather than of hardware and dual 8 megapixel front cameras, one of which has a wide angle lens with a 97 degree field of view as opposed to 75 for the standard one. The fingerprint sensor on the rear. You get USB type C charging. Wi-Fi, uh, dual band AC, Bluetooth 5, LE, uh, NFC, and of course GPS. Uh, we have a few questions. Shubham is asking what the processor is, and that is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. So you can check out Gadgets 360 right now for our full launch coverage, including all the specifications and prices. Uh, but for those who are asking, The Pixel 3 XL 64 GB costs uh, 83,000 rupees in India and 128 GB costs 92,000 rupees. 
uh, as opposed to the Pixel 3 non XL, which is 71,000 rupees for 64 GB and 80,000 rupees for 128 GB. Let's check out the camera. So there you go. It's a portrait mode. So as you can see. Take a photo in portrait mode. Just the same. See what adjustments we have. So we can automatically make the foreground color pop or select something at the back. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Focus only here. Or let's go back. You can see all the pictures in a burst. So there's a lot more camera features including low light and uh, digital zoom, you can check that out. So, uh, do we have any questions? Let's check out the questions that people are typing in here. Um, available in India, it's set to go on sale on the 1st of November. Pre-orders will open before that.